guys welcome back to my channel yes i am just getting sicker by the day but i'm not gonna let you down for vlogmas i am committed we only have nine days left which means nine videos left um we are doing a haul today i ordered some stuff from nasty gal and asos for black friday and it just got here so i'm gonna flip you around and show you i got some really cute stuff a lot of on-trend stuff um so i'm excited to show you okay so let's start with this first look Okay, so here is the first little lounge set, and it's just pink little shorts and a little top. The shorts are tiny. Um, this is a large because I figured they would be small, um, so I was trying to just make sure, like, I would be comfortable wearing them. Don't mind my socks. <laughs> um, but I'm going to keep this. It's cute, and obviously I would just wear it around um, the house, and it is, like, a wide neck, so it goes um, off the shoulders, and it kind of has, like, a waffle uh, material. Or fabric detail um, but I love the color and it's comfy and it'll be cute I'm sure Josh will like it <laughs> so we're gonna stick with this I bought um, a pants version too but the pants were just way too big they were like falling down so I would size up in any shorts if you like this um, but the pants you don't need to like they're lounge sets that come with pants you don't need to size up because they run really big um, but yeah this is a large top and a large bottom I probably could have done a medium top I just wasn't sure but definitely like if this was a medium bottom they would just be underwear <laughs> but um super cute I love love the color again this kind of like hot fuchsia pink is one of my favorite colors um and then we have more stuff to try on back there so okay this is the next item and also I don't know if I mentioned that little set was from Nasty Gal this is from ASOS it is the brand River Island and it's a cute little sweater dress if you watched my um, Christmas party vlog you would have seen this already um, but it is so cute it's like this chocolatey brown it has these gold buttons very like Balmain inspired um, and it comes like right above my knees um, it's definitely long enough like you could belt this if you wanted to um, but when I wore it, I didn't. And I wear, I wore it with um, some brown boots. But I really, really like this. I've already worn it, so <laughs> obviously I'm keeping it. Um, but it's really great. Let me get a close-up. It's really um, nice. Just material and details. Um, there we go. Yeah, really nice. Love the high neck. It's, it's just super comfortable. Um, I was really comfortable... When I wore this, I wasn't like too hot. So yeah, I really like this. Such a winner. And I'm not really like a sweater dress type of person. Um, cause I just can find, I find them just kind of like a little boring sometimes. Like I just, I want, I want more. Like this is a whole outfit, which is convenient, but it's also like, this is a whole outfit and it can just get a little, little boring. But, um, this one with the detail on the buttons and then like jazzing it up with the right shoes. I really like so and I want to say this was maybe 50 or 60 dollars but definitely like really great quality um and just like again easy to wear I wore them with sorry I wore this with these boots um and that was super cute yeah um these little ash boots um but I'm also thinking about wearing it with my um a Fendi boots so yeah I think the next time I wear this outfit um I'm gonna wear it with my Fendi boots maybe but yeah I really like this and I may even see what it looks like um belted but definitely super cute still got on my socks <laughs> um and of course everything will be linked below okay let's move on I have some like faux leather pieces that I am pretty excited about here are the next pieces and these don't go together <laughs> Um, but I bought them because I thought the browns would match. Um, let me turn the brightness down a little bit. Okay. I thought the browns would match, but they don't. They're from, the top is from Nasty Gal and the pants are from ASO. So you can see they're two different, um, things. So I'm going to have to wear them separately, but I love, I love the top. Um, and I'm thinking with like a black turtleneck. Um, it's just... It's, it can be a very chic. Um, it covers your butt, so that's good. Um, and this is a, I think I have a size medium. Um, so I'll probably just do this with like leather skinnies. And then the pants, these are the pants. They're just like a brown faux leather, um, kind of like trouser, I guess. Um, it came with a belt, but I don't like the belt, so I took that off. And I would probably just do um, a belt, cinching my waist, and do like a sweater. 
So unfortunately these don't go together because I was trying to do like a whole brown leather moment. But that ain't gonna work. <laughs> um, but I do still like the pieces um, individually. I just put on my um, Celine boot because I really am into black and brown right now. So I'm probably gonna do like a black sweater with these and black boots. And then again with this I'll probably do black pants and a black turtleneck. Very like chic Celine vibes is what I'm thinking. Okay guys, I needed to show you <laughs> the brown leather pieces styled because I just wasn't doing them justice and I just can't even, I can't even handle it. So these are the brown trousers and this is basically the vibe I was thinking. It's just super chic and just like easy. I paired it with my um, Dior t-shirt and I put on my little vintage thrifted belt and my Celine shoes and it's just kind of like a menswear inspired look um let me turn you up a little bit okay it's like a menswear inspired look but just super um i don't know chic is the best word effortless um sophisticated i really like it i really really like it it's very very menswear inspired but very um just comfy and Oh, I love it. This is exactly how I would, would wear it. And I love uh, the combination of black and brown right now. I am just obsessed with it. <sighs> what bag could we wear? Mm, hold on. See, I'm going to be filming this video all damn day. Because now I'm just like making outfits. We could do, we could do a little Fendi. Do a little Fendi moment. <sighs> what else could we do? What else could we do? A lot of things. But hopefully, hopefully you get the vibe now. Um, but the pants are great. I feel like the quality is amazing. Um, they kind of have like this little piping in them. Now, of course, they have like some creases that haven't um, fell out yet. But um, I love the kind of trouser feel. They don't just feel like leggings or just like, you know, just random pants. Um, great quality, nice pockets, belt loops very nice very very oh I love it okay so let me pair the um little jacket the, the jacket there on the floor let me pair her with like what I'm thinking okay I'm not gonna put on the turtleneck I'm not even gonna lie I'm not putting on a turtleneck right now but I'll pair it with something so you can kind of like get the vibe but yeah are the pants better now yeah okay here is the brown shirt and I just put it on with my Gucci belt and black little skinnies from Zara. Those same sling boots. However, in the process of doing this, the button popped off. Now, that could be because my chest is a little larger, saying I've gained like five pounds this winter. Um, so I don't know. I'm just going to put the button back on. Um, not difficult, but just FYI, maybe size up if you are, you know, blessed in the chest area. Um, but I think this looks really cute oh, let's focus here yeah but I think it's a just cute little kind of simple look it's comfy it's gonna be a cute little date night look or something so yeah hopefully this gives you again a better idea of the looks that I'm going for the brown and brown clashing just wasn't it so <laughs> wanted to give you a little more a better example um, but yeah let me know what you think I can't believe the button just popped off. <sighs> I tell you. But okay, I'm gonna try on. Oh, I have a really cute dress and a skirt and that really cute blazer. I'm gonna try on the blazer on next because I love it. Alright, so here is a hound's tooth blazer. This is from ASOS. It's the River Island brand, which I seem to really like. Um, I got it in a size 12, but it's in UK sizing. So just look at the like translator, <laughs> the chart on, on the ASOS website. Um, but this is so cute. Houndstooth is so in for winter and I didn't have anything. And when I saw this, I loved it. It has like um, a velvet lapels. You see that? There we go. Focusing. Um, so yeah, super cute. Oh, and these really pretty like crystal. Let's see if we can focus. So really pretty buttons like pearl and um, 
yeah super pretty buttons um it does have a pocket um and this could probably be worn as a dress it's pretty long um and i got it because it reminded me of that pink blazer i have that's really old from um zara it's double breasted um so you can like button it and wear it without a shirt or again i think wear it probably as a dress um i don't have a shirt on underneath but <laughs> Um, I would probably just wear it as a blazer. I mean, almost like a coat, kind of. Um, it's thick enough with, like, a nice turtleneck. And, again, just black pants. But I think this is super cute. Um, and very on trend. Comfortable. Really nice details. Again, for the price, I feel like you get really good quality. Really nice details. So, yeah. Um, so far, the quality um, on ASOS has been better. Because the brown shirt that the button fell off was nasty gal so um nasty gal the quality is you get kind of what you pay for but i feel like the um this river island brand i feel like the quality feels amazing for the price you pay so um let me try on this dress and then i have a really cute skirt too okay here is the dress this is from nasty gal and i'm not loving it i think i put on this boot because that was kind of my thought with it um but the purples are a little off and it's kind of i like a billowy dress but this is like more of an empire waist which means it goes like right under the boobs and that is giving me kind of like pregnant vibes and that's not the vibe i'm going for <laughs> um like if you yeah like towards on the like if from the side i like i prefer my dresses to come in a little bit more and then go out or just be sh straight out if that makes sense um where it's like very dramatic and it's supposed to be like that um i feel like with this kind of detail here it's just like i'm trying to hide something which makes me just think of pregnancy i don't know um but again let me know what you think i mean i like the i love the top i like that it has that little pucker on the sleeves i always like that i think that's a really feminine detail i like the v-neck it's like just a, the right amount of cleavage but th this something like right in here, I don't, no love. But I love the print. I was, I've been looking for like more winter florals and I really like this print. But, um, yeah. And it's like tight on my boobs. Like, yeah. It's just, I have too many dresses like this that I really love. So I don't think I'm going to keep this. Let me know what you think though. Okay, here's the coat. Are you dying? <laughs> it's so good um again i'm just obsessed with coats this season and i just I'm really trying to like find the show stoppers the you know like people stop you like oh my god where's that coat from that's amazing that's gorgeous look at that color look at that texture look at the print look at all of those things i want all of those things in all of my coats this is from nasty gal and the quality is fantastic so this is the one out of the everything else we got from nasty gal um but it is stunning and I believe it's on sale. I got it in Black Friday, but I believe it's on sale because I shared it on my Instagram yesterday. Um, but yeah, it's just like a trench, but it's like a vinyl material. I mean, it looks patent leather, but obviously it's not real leather. And I think I have it in a medium, but it's it's stunning. I love it. I love everything about it. I love this color. It's so, it's almost like a green, but kind of chartreuse-y because it's like... I don't know i don't know the color you color experts let me know um but it's stunning i love it that's from the back still has a few creases in it um because again i did just get it in but it's it's better than i thought it was gonna be like better than i hoped for <laughs> socks again but yeah i love it this is definitely the best thing out of my haul um i feel like i'm gonna probably send like i hate returning things online oh my god but I'm probably going to have to with some of this nasty gal stuff. Because it's just this coat. This is the second coat I've gotten from there. So the coats are winners. Everything else, not so much. But the coats are bomb. Okay. We got some more stuff. Okay. So both of these items are new. This sweater is from H&M. I also got in Black Friday. But I forgot to share it because it was the only thing they sent me. They canceled everything else in my order. But it is really soft, really nice, and I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, but the skirt is from Nasty Gal, and I paired it with like those little DSW boots um, because I was just, I bought the skirt because I just need more bottom options. Um, I feel like, 
I basically just have leather pants and I don't wear jeans like denim jeans as much during the winter I just feel like that's the summer thing I don't know why um so I've basically just been wearing black skinnies or black leather like pants so I wanted more like little skirts that I could like pair with tights and boots and sweaters um this has like a cute little star print and then it kind of like has this ruffle detail it's fine I mean it's cute I don't know it's a cute outfit like, it's a cute simple outfit if I just wanted to like run to the mall and be comfortable and like have something on that was like easy to take on and off. This would be a cute little outfit. It doesn't make me feel like, you know, a fashionista, but <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. Let me know what you think. But I think the skirt is literally like $17. So, <laughs> um, it's cute. Okay. What else do I have? Guys, I just needed to come back and show you this outfit really quick because it just came in the mail. Literally, I've been waiting forever. I paid for two-day shipping from Topshop and it took, I don't know, 5,000 years. So, it is a leather jumpsuit. Oh my god, it is. But it's everything I knew it would be. Like, I could tell on the model on the website that it was going to be, like, so good. This feels like real leather um i think i am going to wear it with a turtleneck underneath i have a like a printed turtleneck that i got just for this um it's so good so like that's why i have it zipped down because i'm trying to see like what it would look like so it would be something underneath um like up to here let me come closer um or you could just like zip it all the way up but it's just the quality is amazing it has like um kind of a little you can kind of see a little stretchy material here but I love it so much zip details pockets which is amazing um kind of a straight leg bottom so you could wear it with heels you could but they're small enough that you could probably easily tuck it into boots yeah I love it so much um and you could also like belt it if you just wanted to like add a little something to the outfit but I just wanted to come on and show this um <laughs> because it's just so like the quality is just so good i think it's just such a nice um kind of like option to have for the winter if you don't feel like wearing jeans again i'm just trying to find more options so i don't always have to wear just skinny jeans um so yeah i really 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 like this it's so cute yeah i love it it's it's pricey. I mean, it's not pricey for the quality, though. Um, I feel like Topshop has never been, like, super duper cheap. Um, I think this was $120, which is not bad for a faux leather jumpsuit that looks like real leather and is, like, the quality is this good. And I was just waiting. I just knew I was going to get it for Black Friday and get a deal. This did not go on sale during Black Friday. So I ended up just paying the full price for it and because I was just tired of waiting. Um, I got it in a size 6, and it fits perfectly um, so I would say it's pretty true to size. Um, if I lose any weight, hopefully I will, <laughs> um, like in the next few months, um, it'll just probably just get a little baggier, um, in like the hip area, which is fine by me. And then again, you can, um, you could just belt this, but if you're a jumpsuit person, I highly, highly recommend it's very warm. I'm actually warm standing here, but I also have these bright lights on me, but yeah, I wanted to share that I got a size six. And I believe it's 120, but of course I'll link it below. And you'll see it on, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it very soon. <laughs> okay, bye. Guys, that's actually all that I have. I hope you enjoyed this little random vlog. <laughs> Try on, haul, yeah, haul. I think I'm gonna, let me know below what you think of the items. I'm definitely gonna send back the brown leather. I'm still on the fence about it, actually. It, let me know what you think. Should I just sew the button back on and keep it moving? Or is it just not worth it? Like, how many times am I going to wear it? I don't know. Um, I'm definitely going to send back that dress. I think everything else I'm keeping. But let me know what was your favorite. What did you, what do you think I should keep? Um, and I also have a New Year's haul coming. I wanted to really, I don't like spending a lot of money on, like, super dressy clothes. Because it's just not, again, I can't get cost per wear. It's just not my thing that I wear all the time. So, I have an order coming of some very affordable dresses. I ordered, like, I think a jumpsuit and, like, a few dresses that I'm going to share with you. Hopefully, I can, hopefully, it'll, I'll film it this week. It should come this week. Um, so, that'll be up, and that should be super helpful. And, yeah, let me know again. I have nine videos left for Vlogmas, so if there's anything you want to see, before Vlogmas is over, let me know below and I will film it. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.